This is Go For It, Randy. What you're looking at here is the New York skyline, and the question of the day is, where's the curvature, okay? <laughs> because I don't see any curve out there. Do you see a curve out there? Because when you look out at the horizon line over New York City, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what you see there is a very flat, straight horizon line that does not show any curvature whatsoever. So what you're looking at here is a, uh, a photograph from up at, uh, I don't know what the altitude is here, but it clearly is up on top of one of the tallest buildings. Uh, and it clearly shows the horizon line there is perfectly flat and level. That's because the earth is level at sea level. And the definition of level is, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know what the definition of level is, it's a straight line that is parallel to the horizon line. So that is the definition of level. So level equals flat. And you clearly can see in this photograph here that the horizon line in the distance over New York City here in the United States is completely flat and level just like they say so we're going to look at the numbers ladies and gentlemen because we have to take a look at the curvature numbers so let's look at a curvature chart to find out exactly how much curvature should be across that scene that you're looking at right there okay so here's your curvature chart here and this curvature chart is going to show you the exact amount of curvature over a one mile distance or a two mile distance or three or four or five or a hundred or a thousand miles. So we're gonna to get to the bottom of the numbers uh, on this curvature chart right now, because I can tell you right now, if you go on to any university campus, any Ivy League university, walk up to the first student and say, hey, do you know how much curvature there is on the earth? They're gonna look at you like, what? Uh, don't ask such difficult questions before noon, man. So here's the numbers right here. So in the first mile, if you go across the column there, it says in the inches column there, it curves eight inches in the first mile. So not very much. But then what happens is you have to square the mile in the second mile. So in the second mile there, if you go over to that uh, inches column, it uh, curves 32 inches, okay, in two miles. But you get three miles out and guess what? it starts to curve 72 inches. That's six feet. Okay, so just three miles away, there should be six feet of curvature. So an average man who's six feet tall walks away three miles, he should be out of sight. He should be over the curve. You should not be able to see a man six feet tall if he walks six, uh, three miles away from you. So looking down the line here, you clearly can see uh, four miles out, uh, 10 uh, feet of curvature, five miles is 16 feet of curvature in just five miles. Now, if you go down there to 10 miles, there's 66 feet of curvature at 10 miles out, ladies and gentlemen. You go 20 miles out, 266 feet of curvature. 30 miles out, uh, I believe it's 600 feet of curvature. And 40 miles out, which is what we uh, you know, agreed upon is probably the, the horizon line distance across there. There's 1,000 feet of curvature, 1,066 feet to be exact of curvature in just 40 miles, ladies and gentlemen. If you go 50 miles out, there's 1,600 feet of curvature. And the bottom line is if you go 100 miles out, there's over one mile of curvature in 100 miles. So let's go back to that photograph and take a look at that photograph. So there's the New York skyline. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 40 miles across, does that sound like a pretty fair estimate? I mean, clearly, uh, if you look at, I believe, the Hudson River there off into the distance, it looks like a tiny little river off into the distance, and that isn't even off to the horizon line. So. What you're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is about 40 miles. 40 miles is over 1,066 feet of curvature. Do you see a 1,000 foot curve there, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that line that's parallel to the horizon there, which is the definition of level, okay? So clearly, this shows you that the horizon line over New York City is perfectly flat and level because Earth is level at sea level. Now, they have tricks that they use to distort the view of Earth from above, and it's called 
a GoPro camera. This is what happens when you use a GoPro camera. See that? Look at the curvature there, ladies and see that? It's a curve. Okay, it's a curve. But again, uh, this is New York City here, and you clearly can see um, the rivers there and so forth. Um, you can look at the bar there. Look at the curve in the ladder that's going up there, okay? There's a curve in the ladder. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a GoPro camera has a, a fisheye lens which distorts the reality that we live in when you're looking in a downward uh, motion. Now, if you're looking off into the distance, it looks perfectly straight. But when you get up and you angle the camera downward like this is right here, it tends to make the whole earth look curved. And it doesn't matter if you're up 100 feet or 500 feet or 25,000 miles away from earth. <laughs> if you could possibly get 25,000 miles away from earth with a GoPro camera, it's going to distort the reality and make it look like it is curved when there is no curve. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know what to tell you other than the earth is level at sea level and they put everything out into the open. The people, the powers that be that run this place have been telling you all along with words and symbols and numbers and all kinds of things, photographs, movies, everything is all out in the public eye. They've been telling you the earth is level at sea level forever. What they didn't tell you is the true definition of level a straight line that is flat and parallel.